So now, the JFET, we're going to use the N channel, JFET, the J310 uh, down there. This is the pin layout. We have it on the board. We have it wired so that we can look at its IDSS. So that's an important property of the JFET right there. That's when you have the source directly to ground. That's why it's doubled up S right there to ground. Drain is usually where you put the load and uh, we're just going to connect it to the positive supply right there to do a quick test. And to do this test you also have the uh, gate connected to ground. So now the IDSS is going to be the current that the component limits. Right now it's set to basically pass as much current as it can and uh, we don't have enough voltage though in order to do so so there you can see it looks like somewhere around uh, 20 milliamps of current for some reason it's uh, flipping around um, we're gonna raise the voltage in a little bit main thing is we have to make sure we don't exceed 350 milliwatts so that's the same as 0.35 watts and the wattage will be uh, this number in amps that you see right there times volts so um, Right now we have basically 0 0.02 watts of power right there, 20 milliwatts of power. But in any case, we have to raise the voltage enough to get it to conduct basically as much as it can. So three, four, and uh, there you can see current didn't really change at all right there. So even at three volts, we're pretty much at our IDSS, four volts. Uh, just change the spec uh, right there. So probably about 33 uh, milliamps of current is the IDSS for this particular JFET. And I can go 5 volts again. I can't exceed when I multiply these two numbers together 0.35. So this would be uh, just times the 3 there 0.15. We're still uh, you know pretty close. And I'm not going to raise it more than 6 but there you can see we got 6. And again that would be a 6 times 3 there, 0.18. So we still got quite a bit of ways to go before we get to the maximum uh, power dissipation um, right there. But in any case, that's the main thing. We have a current, regardless of voltage here, and we could have a load on the drain side, it would be passing that same amount of uh, current. It's uh, a current source, a way to make a current source right there, as long as the load doesn't take away too much voltage. I'm going to turn the power off. Um, but yeah. That's about it right there. Just tie the gate and the source uh, together and bring them to ground right there. That will limit how much current goes through the drain, but it's also how much current is going through the source. Um, the gate's not letting uh, current go in or out. That's um, just a test for this one component right there, the J310. The J310 will have a range of uh, currents. So according to the data sheet that I looked at uh, before, the IDSS may be down as low as 24 milliamps and maybe as high as 60 milliamps of current. So be aware of that there's a range even for J310, separate ones. Um, could be down to 24 milliamps current up to 60 milliamps current. If you have a different uh, end channel, JFET, then it could have a completely different range of currents. You got to make sure and check the data sheet. But in any case, very useful thing to know if you're looking at the JFET. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.